Clinical depression is a highly prevalent mental health illness affecting approximately 350 million people worldwide. Depression severely impairs an individual's ability to cope with everyday life and symptoms include a persistent feeling of sadness, loss of interest, feelings of guilt and worthlessness and sleep and appetite disturbances. In severe cases, depression can lead to suicide, which results in an estimated 1 million deaths per year globally. My PhD research is based here in Trinity College Dublin, where I'm working on depression. Depression is thought to occur due to a complex combination of both genetic and environmental factors. Unravelling the exact causes of the illness, however, and understanding the pathological changes that occur in the brains of depressed patients represents a unique challenge. In order for us to understand this disease, we have to look at the intricate workings of the brain. The brain is composed of a network of cells called neurons and glial cells. Neurons are specialised cells which use chemical messengers called neurotransmitters to process and transmit information to each other. Glial cells, on the other hand, perform a more diverse range of functions in the brain, including roles in brain metabolism, neuronal health and neurotransmitter regulation. The majority of current antidepressant treatments target a particular class of neurotransmitter in the brain called the monoamines. These antidepressant treatments suffer from serious limitations, however, including a time lag of weeks or months until a therapeutic response is seen. Researchers are therefore looking outside of these monoamine imbalances and looking at different changes that occur in the brains of depressed patients in the hope of finding a new class of antidepressants with a more rapid onset of action. This is where my research is focused. My work is investigating two more recently identified features of depression, a disruption in the neurotransmitter glutamate and a dysfunction in a type of glial cell called astrocytes. Glutamate is the brain's main excitatory neurotransmitter and is crucial for healthy brain function. Excess levels of glutamate are toxic, but astrocytes help to remove this excess glutamate from the synapse, thus preventing glutamate from building up and therefore keeping the brain healthy. A growing body of evidence is now showing that people suffering from depression have a reduced number and density of astrocytes in specific brain regions. This astrocytic dysfunction results in an impaired ability to regulate glutamate transmission, which in turn affects neuronal health. My research is currently using a cell culture approach to investigate this relationship between astrocytes and neurons in more detail. The use of cell culture technique involves growing cells under controlled conditions and therefore allows us to manipulate these conditions and examine the results. My work will involve applying compounds to the astrocytes and neurons which modulate glutamate transmission in order to investigate whether these compounds can confer neuroprotective properties to the neurons. This provides us with insight into the possible mechanisms by which astrocytes and neurons communicate and the factors released by astrocytes which may affect neuronal morphology and health. This work will add to the research into the glutamate and astrocyte pathology of depression and will hopefully provide new leads for the development of a novel class of antidepressant treatment with a rapid onset of action and a better side effect profile.